Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we are going to discuss the demodulation of FM signal using the phase lock loop. So the phase lock loop is a feedback control system where the quantity fed back is phase. This PLL is used to track the phase and frequency of the incoming signal. In case of the demodulation of the FM signal, the incoming signal is going to be the fre frequency modulated signal. This phase lock loop is used to achieve frequency synchronism and phase synchronism. Now there are three components of the phase lock loop. The voltage control oscillator, a multiplier which is also called the phase detector or phase comparator, the loop filter which is basically a low pass filter. So this is the block diagram of the phase lock loop. There are three components. This is my multiplier or phase detector or phase comparator. This is the loop filter which is basically a low pass filter. This is the voltage control oscillator. So what is voltage control oscillator? Voltage control oscillator is an oscillator whose frequency can be controlled by an external voltage. In the voltage control oscillator, the oscillation frequency varies linearly with the input voltage. Suppose if the input voltage to a voltage control oscillator is E0 of T, its output will be a sinusoid of frequency given as omega of T is equal to omega C plus C E0 of T. This E0 of T is my input voltage and this C is a constant. And this omega C is called the free running frequency of the voltage control oscillator. This is the frequency at the start phase, that is when the loop is not started. That is when the E0 of t is equal to 0, then this frequency will be omega c which will be the free running frequency of the oscillator. The output of loop filter which is basically a voltage signal is fed to the input of the VCO. You can see over here that this output of the loop filter is fed to the input of the VCO. The next is the multiplier or phase detector. This basically multiplies the incoming FM signal by the output of the VCO. If you can see over here, this multiplies this incoming FM signal because in this, this case, the incoming signal will be the FM signal. So the FM signal is multiplied by the output of the VCO. So that is the job of the multiplier circuit. That is why it is called the multiplier because it multiplies the incoming FM signal by the output of the VCO. It is also called phase detector or phase comparator. Why? Because it do phase comparison. It compares the phase of the incoming signal which in this case is the M uh, FM signal with the phase of the VCO and generates a phase error. So what does it do? that it compares the phase of uh, R frequency of this FM signal and the phase R frequency of this VCO and compares them. And if there is a difference, it generates an error signal. Next is loop filter. This is basically a low pass filter. It filters high frequency components contained in multiplier output. How? Let us see over here. For example, my input signal has a frequency of let's say for example f1 and this vco has frequency which is the for example it has the free running frequency which is the initial frequency of fc now this multiplier circuit with result in a frequencies of f1 plus fc and f1 minus fc now this loop filter because this is a low pass filter so it is going to block this component and only allow this component its other function is to produce a voltage proportional to the error signal. If there is a phase difference or frequency difference between the incoming FM signal and the output of the VCO, the, then the loop filter is going to produce a voltage that is proportional to the error signal. The output of the loop filter which is a voltage signal is fed to the input of the VCO. You can see over here that the output of the loop filter is fed to the input of the VCO. Now let us understand the mathematical process. Let the incoming signal be A sine of omega ct plus theta i of t. The incoming signal which is the FM modulated wave, let that be A sine of omega ct plus theta i t. Let the output of the VCO the oscillator be B cosine omega ct 
plus theta not of t now these two signals will be multiplied by this multiplier so when these two signals are multiplier as a result we are going to have a b sin omega c t plus theta i cosine omega c t plus theta naught this is basically equal to a b divided by 2 sin theta i minus theta naught plus sin 2 omega c t plus theta i plus theta naught so this will be equal to this thing using the trigonometric function so this will be the output of the multiplier so here i am going to have this output which is this thing so the sum frequency term is going to be suppressed by the low pass filter as a result we are going to have the effective input to the loop filter is going to be half a b sin of theta i of t minus theta naught of t now if h of t is the unit impulse response of the loop filter then the output of the loop filter which we are going to denote by e naught of t that will be equal to e naught of t we are going to use the convolution that is h of t multi convoluted with half into a b sine delta of i of t minus delta naught of t so this can be written as half into a b integration from 0 to 2 we are going to use the convolution formula h of t minus x sine of theta i x minus theta naught x this theta naught x dx let me name it as equation 3 now let me multiply a constant c on both sides so this will be c e naught of t and i am going to have c over here as well this will be half into small c a b and this whole a convolution formula so this is my equation number 3 now we know that the frequency of the vco was given as omega c plus c into e naught of t now the vco output is assumed to be b into cosine omega c t plus theta naught of t so it means that the instantaneous frequency is of this vco is vco is equal to omega c plus derivative of the theta naught which means that this derivative of the theta naught is equal to c into e naught of t let me name it as equation 2 now this c e naught of t is basically this thing this whole thing is basically my c e naught of t so i can write over here that delta dot of t is basically equal to half into c a b integration from 0 to t h of t minus x into sine theta i of x minus theta naught of x dx which can be written as a k where k is again some constant 0 of t h of t minus x sine theta i of x dx because this theta i minus theta naught is basically my theta i which is the error signal if you can hear, hear see over here if this is my theta naught and this is my theta i then this theta e is basically equal to theta i minus theta naught i have replaced this over here replace this error signal over here where k here is equal to k here is equal to half db now when the incoming fm carrier is a sine of omega ct plus theta i of t then this theta i of t is going to be equal to because this is the fm modulated signal so this will be equal to kf minus infinity to t m alpha d alpha which means that this theta naught 
is going to be equal to kf minus infinity to t m alpha d alpha minus theta of e because theta of e is equal to theta i minus theta naught so this theta naught is basically equal to this theta naught is basically equal to theta i minus theta e this is my theta i and this is my theta e now if we have small error that is the phase error is very small the PLL is in the phase lock loop then this term can be neglected so in that case we are going to have theta naught is equal to kf into integration minus infinity to t m alpha t alpha now remember previous equation that theta naught of t was actually equal to c into e naught of t which means that e naught of t is going to be equal to derivative of the theta naught of t divided by c so this derivative of the theta naught of t is going to be equal to this will be kf mt so this theta naught of t is going to be equal to theta dot of t is going to be equal to kf mt so here e naught of t is going to be equal to kf mt divided by c where kf and c are both constant so the output signal is basically proportional to the message signal the output signal is basically proportional to the message signal so in this way the pll acts as a frequency demodulator because the output of this phase lock loop is going to extract the message signal this output is proportional to the message signal and this output signal is going to extract the message signal from the incoming wave, wave which is basically the fm modulated wave thank you